Hey everybody, this is Felicia D. Henderson. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Office Hours After the Quad. This episode was written by Wendy Coolis. It is entitled March Book One. We borrowed that title from the original graphic novels from the 60s that took a look at the civil rights movement through the first-hand accounts of John Lewis. So we feel honored to borrow that title. As you know, every week I'm repping a different HBCU. I am this week repping Spelman um, because I love this cardigan but there was also a sweatshirt I loved from Spelman. So you'll see me repping Spelman twice, plus I have a lot of good girlfriends who um, graduated from there, so I'm happy to do so. On tonight's episode, I am being joined by Jazz Ray Cole and Michelle DeFreitas, who will talk about their love and friendship for each other on and off screen. Episode 206, March, book one. The title obviously taken from John Lewis's comic book of the same name. Um, it's an amazing episode. Um, mm -hmm. I think that it is the point in the uh, season, you know, we're halfway through where absolutely the students are becoming activists. Um, and we were trying to like, just, you know, excuse the pun, march our way toward that. So it didn't become like episode one. It's like, and now they're activists, right. yeah. you know? So we took our time until we got there to the middle of the season. Um, and now they have gone, taken themselves to Atlanta State um, to let people know how they feel. But I see those dailies, they were like, it was, when I first saw them, I'm like, <coughs> oh, I didn't mean to be that real. Like, it was a little bit frightening. Yeah. How did it feel to be there being the ones doing it? Good. I mean, it was definitely surreal, mm -hmm. in a sense, because, you know, you see it on TV, you see it everywhere, you know it's happening around you, but mm -hmm. to be forced to do it, Yes. That's really crazy. And to be forced to watch other people have to do it and just, you know you're acting, but part of you just wants to be like, oh, mm -hmm. you just get really worked up have about it. Have you ever been involved in anything like that before? Honestly, no. Mm -hmm. On yeah. either side, yeah. no. Mm -hmm. And so just seeing it happen in front of your face, it's just like, wow. Get back to where you belong. I belong right here. Get off me. Come on. It's heavy. Um, I've never really understood the magnitude of a riot mm -hmm. um, until that day, mm. and what activism really means, like what that what that entails, mm -hmm. like really fighting for everything that you believe in, mm -hmm. because you know during that scene we're going to blood, we're just blows, like we're going in, yeah. um, and it I don't know it it shifted my perception of just like even just the Black Lives Matter movement. My mom, you know, lived through, you know, the, the 60s and the 70s and she talks to me about Black Panthers because, you know, she was from Stockton and Oakland's mm -hmm. right there. And she's talked to me about all that stuff, but to actually be in that position. And granted, we're just acting, but when you start doing the character development of how this person feels, mm -hmm. it was completely different being in that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and it was tense, it was heavy because, you know, I think we all wanted to respect each other and make sure that the respect was known. Like, this mm -hmm. is just, this is just a scene. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. We all wanted to make sure everybody was okay and felt safe. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was interesting. But that must have been challenging because you guys are so respectful to each other, always, I find. Mm -hmm. And yet, it, the moment is feeling so real, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I'm trying to keep that, but this thing has taken over as well. And it was three days. Yeah. It was three days of like long days and you're in it and you're just like, how do people, like the real activists of the world, how do yeah. they have the stamina and the, the mm -hmm. passion and the strength yeah. to sustain that? I'll let the audience in on a little bit of that back during the days of the pilot. It feels like so... <laughs> Long so ago, the the pilot, uh. like there were, you know, a bunch of girls who came in, you know, young women for Sydney, a bunch of young women who came in for Madison. And we find like we like those four or five possibility uh, actresses for Sydney and this four or five possibilities for Madison. But what if they don't have any chemistry? So then we start playing this game as producers and then the network gets invited into it too, a mix and match. Let's put these two together. Well, maybe those mm -hmm. two would be together and maybe. So now what I'm learning today for the first time, 
is that even in the hallway while you were waiting your turn, you were doing some mixing and matching of your own. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> but I mean, but that's just, I mean, I've been acting for a long time, mm -hmm. and that's just what you do. It's a chemistry thing, and I think since we have a real friendship, you see a lot of that on, mm -hmm. on the show. You mm -hmm. see a lot of that shifts over, and we don't have the same issues and problems that, you know, Sydney and Madison have, we have our own stuff that we have to deal with. And I think it's kind of transferring that and just kind of mm -hmm. substituting this for that. But at the end of the day, just like with our friendship, just like with Sydney and Madison, there's a mutual respect. Because you know if you like them, the yeah. scene's just gonna be better. And, and we, so. And like, we had, like, we worked on our stuff. Like, we literally, mm -hmm. like, we went through and was like, okay, how we're about like tossing this? ideas yeah, back and we're forth. Yeah, going back and yeah. forth. And like, what about this moment? Okay, what if you do this? Okay, I like that. Yeah, let's try oh, this. Oh, that's so cool. And yeah. so we really went back and forth. And um, there was no one else that really did that with me. No. And I read with other people like in the hallway, like practicing. Mm -hmm. But we were the only ones that were kind of like collaborative mm -hmm. in that. And then we put you guys together and we got to see all of that. Not knowing all of that. Right. Of that <laughs> that's the crazy part. Right? We just did your work for you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Got it. Yeah. That's what you should have walked in. By the way, you're welcome. Right. Right. So. We're here. We're here. <laughs> the work is done. I love it. It's almost yes. like you were watching our lives because you <laughs> almost got it so perfectly. Yeah. On like what we're going through, and it's yeah. we're kind of getting to yeah. show that through our characters. Here yes. on office hours. Right. On office hours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much for your time. I really, really appreciate yeah. both of you, and I hope you continue to have a good time for the rest of the season. Cause we got some stuff you don't know yet. Oh. <laughs> we can't wait. <laughs>